Hi guys, I'm Sally, the creative director of Owlcrate Junior, and I'm here today to show you all of the wonderful goodies that we put inside of our October robot theme. I am a massive robot fan. I think that they are so funny and so charming, uh, and they are one of the only things that I can draw, so I do that a lot. Uh, so all that to say, this was one of my very favorite boxes to put together. So let's take a look inside. So the first thing we have on the very top is our robot spoiler card. This was illustrated by Melanie Demmer, and she has created this wonderful family of colorful robots. Um, they are very cute. They're very sort of Jetsons inspired, if you remember Rosie and all of the other funny robots from the Jetsons. Um, so she's got all of them on the front and then on the back, just a couple more along the bottom, along with write-ups about all of the fun goodies that I'm about to show you. Next up, we have this activity roll, a robotics lab from Mud Puppy Toys. Mud Puppy is a really great company um, that makes all kinds of fun stationery and toys and games um, for kids sort of uh, preschool age all the way up to uh, like tweens. Uh, I also love a lot of their stuff and I'm a grown-up. But uh, they have this great activity roll series um, and uh, it is six feet long once you unroll it. You just open this guy up. Inside you get six feet ooh, of this uh, awesome robot activity uh, lab. So there's coloring, there's games, there's, um, you can like fill in your own patterns, you can create your own little comics. There is a bunch of stuff just to keep you busy and engaged for uh, <laughs> six feet long of time. Um, it also comes with a package of pencil crayons, so it is totally ready to go straight out of the box. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun to see all the uh, colorful creations that people have come up with online. Next up is an item I was super happy to include, and that is a puzzle. This is designed by Vanessa Port, who designs all of our sneak peek cards every month. Um, the artwork on this puzzle uh, is actually from last month's sneak peek card. I loved this illustration of the little girl in her cardboard uh, robot homemade costume amongst a bunch of great big real robots. Um, I love this illustration so much I wanted to turn it into something uh, that people could enjoy over and over again in, in a more sort of concrete form than just a postcard. Um, so we turned it into this 100-piece uh, puzzle. We've seen uh, a few people posting videos and photos on our uh, Instagram of uh, their kids having done this puzzle several times already and actually like racing themselves to see if they can um, finish the 100 pieces faster than the, than the last time they put it together, which is super fun. I love I love that you can just do puzzles over and over again. Next up is another item that we had designed exclusively for our subscribers, and that is this adorable Wally -E inspired enamel pin by Anusha Syed. Um, as you can see, Wally -E is uh, sort of staring longingly up at the stars on the backdrop there, um, but uh, but then you can you can take them off and uh, and put them wherever you like. I'm going to wear them around for the rest of the day here. Um, here we go. Perfect. So uh, Wally, as you know, is from the Pixar movie. Um, he is for sure one of my favorite uh, robots in, in pop culture. I just find him endlessly endearing. Uh, I could watch, I could watch that movie over and over again. He's just so sweet and so cute. Um, and uh, and so of course we needed to include a Wally -E item in this box. I think that Anusha did a very good job of capturing the, uh, the emotion in his eyes. Next up, we included a second book this month, and that is Robot Universe by DK Books, written by Lynn Huggins Cooper. Um, DK Books uh, publishes the most fantastic nonfiction fact books. Um, and they've been around since since I was a kid and I think long before. Um, but uh, I really enjoy all their series because they, they sort of have different levels for reading. Um, this is a level four, which as it says on the back is um, for kids who are reading alone. They, they uh, are, are quite proficient readers. So we know that that is who's reading our 
uh, getting our boxes and reading our books for the most part. Um, but it is just chock full of facts about robots, sort of from the very first robot. Uh, what is a robot? It talks about different kind of robots in pop culture and different parts that they're made of and the different jobs that they have and all kinds of other stuff. I learned a ton reading this. Um, yeah, we've got types of robots there. Um, so stationary robots uh, that just stay in one place to do their jobs, mobile robots um, that can carry and lift things, uh, an auto autonomous robot who can decide how to do things for themselves, um, and remote controlled robots like this one from the military here. Um, so that's just one of many things that you'll learn how robots move. Uh, humanoid robots. There's just, there's so many facts in this book. It seems like the perfect accompaniment to our book of the month, which we will get to soon. And of course, we wouldn't forget our collectible pin of the month. This is also illustrated by Melanie Demmer, who did the uh, the spoiler card. And uh, so you can see this, this little robot here has been turned into our pin of the month. So cute. He can join Wally on my, on my sweater. There we go. Robot buds. And our very last item before we get to the book of the month, this is an item that we sneak peeked. This is something that I have been wanting to include in the box, I think for about two years now. Um, we saw this toy at uh, a trade show in the very early days of Alcray Jr. And I was like, that needs to be in the box at some point. And that is this kit from a company called The Off Bits. Um, now we actually included a, a variety in the box. So you can let me know which one you got if you got this box. Um, we included a little monkey, a little puppy, and a penguin. These kits um, were basically the idea behind it. It was inspired by just like all the bits and pieces that most people have uh, somewhere, you know, in a junk drawer or in a toolbox or something somewhere around your house. Just sort of like a random screw or like nuts and bolts um, that uh, that often just kind of sit there unused. Maybe it's a spare piece from an IKEA kit that you never uh, that they either send you an extra bit or whatever. So, uh, so the inventor of this toy um, decided to, to take those bits and um, include a, a universal, uh, what does he call it? A universal super tool. So it's got um, a little screwdriver and you can actually like use this uh, to make all the toys. Um, and then you can make these little creatures. So this is the penguin. <laughs> Oops. The puppy's foot's coming off here, but that's uh that's my fault. There you go. A little a little robot puppy with a bendy middle. Or a monkey. There you go. So cute. Um all the kits come complete with all of the stuff that you need to make each one of these animals. But then once you have the pieces, you can you can take them apart. You can add in other pieces you like um, and uh, and just kind of build up your own kit. Uh, and they have they have so many more styles that uh, that they have available. They've got um, other robots and, and uh, some vehicles and stuff. But uh, it's just I love the whole concept behind the company. Just, you know, incorporating STEM into to play um, and uh, using, you know, recycling and upcycling things. Uh, I just think it's the coolest, coolest uh, idea for a toy. And, uh, and I've been loving seeing the, uh, the little creatures that people have been putting together. So happy we finally got to include this one. I forgot one thing tucked into the bottom of the box, and that is a Roz the Robot bookmark. Um, Roz is from The Wild Robot, which is one of my very favorite series. Uh, if Wally's my favorite from a movie, I think Roz is my favorite from books. Um, and, uh, and it's a die cut bookmark, so her arms can clip over the top of your page and, uh, and she'll watch your page for you. And then on the back, there's just a little, um, tells you a little bit about both the books in the series by Peter Brown. You can sit up there, Roz. And last but not least, 
is our book of the month. Cog by Greg Van Eekhout. Um, this is a lovely little book uh, all about a humanoid robot who is programmed to uh, learn about the world through his own curiosity. So um, the more experiences he has, the more, uh, the more he gathers data about the world. And his name is Cog, which is short for Cognitive Development. Um, so he, he looks like just a 12 year old boy, um, but he is in fact a robot, a highly advanced robot. Um, and uh, through a series of events that happens in the very beginning of the book, um, Cog finds himself in a, a lab that he has never been to before, um, away from the, the woman who has been taking care of him his whole life, um, and uh, decides that this is not the place that he wants to be and he wants to find his, his caretaker. So he, uh, he joins forces, forces with um, other robots that he meets in this lab and they go on a wild road trip adventure. Um, it's a really sweet story, it's a really funny story, but there's also a lot to think about in this story. Uh, sort of, you know, how machines are used and uh, all sorts of like ethical questions. Um, I think this would be a really great classroom read aloud or homeschool book because there are, are many uh, discussion questions that uh, that can this can be used as a jumping off point for. Um, another very exciting thing is that this is our first ever Al Crate Jr. exclusive cover. So if you were to find this book in the bookstore, it has a, a darker blue background, but we have this lovely sort of teal green for our subscribers. That's very special. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're super excited to, to bring that to you guys. There you go, you can compare the two books there. So this is the one from the bookstore, uh, and this is our exclusive cover. So along with every book, we also included a letter from the author, Greg Van Eekhout. He says, hey there, it looks like you've got a box. I think books are like boxes, and I tried to fill Cog with stuff that's fun and interesting to me, like broken robots, deadly drones, sinister plots, a dark tower, a road trip, a giant hot dog, and cheese. The cheese is very important, trust me. I hope you like your box, Greg Van Eekhout. And Greg was very kind to uh, also sign book plates for all of our subscribers. So that is included and you can tuck that in the very front of your book. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. If you want to hear more from Greg, we have uh, an interview with him in our monthly magazine, which is de uh, designed by Michelle Gray. Um, so he uh, answers all kinds of questions here about how he came up with the idea for the book and uh, uh, his go-to snack for writing, which is of course very important to know, um, and the books that he loved as a kid and all that kinds of thing. You can check that out in the magazine. Um, there's also some book recommendations. So if you love COG, you can uh, read uh, these ones as well. We've got a crossword puzzle. We've got an interview with the creator of The Offbits. And then finally, some information about our November theme, which is currently available. Our November theme is Parallel Worlds and uh, it's gonna be such a fun box. So what would you do if you were given a device that could connect you to other worlds? November's book is a stunning science fiction fantasy full of whip smart characters, unexpected twists, and just a dash of history. Uh, it's perfect for fans of His Dark Materials, The Stormkeeper's Island, and Diana Wynne Jones. So that is everything that we included in our October Robots box. I really hope that you loved it as much as I did. Um, like I said, this was definitely a favorite for me. As much as I try not to play favorites, I, I just can't help it when robots are, come around. Um, you can pick up one of these boxes if you'd like. They are right, available right now at shop.owlcrate.com. And I hope that you liked this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye.